sequels are really hard to make. They're a, they're a challenge to uh, to to justify why you need a two. Um, and I think um, it was a lot of work had been done before Joel and I came on board. The thing that we took from the work was really this idea of the Crudes, who are the last caveman family, meeting the first modern family. And that seemed a really interesting world for us of um, how these two different opposing views could come together. So I think that was really the thing that whetted our appetite. We were always trying to make sure that the, um, the technology somehow seemed believable. I think with the Flintstones, you get that it's a living record player type thing. And so we were trying to draw that balance of what's a, what would be amazing to the crudes, but as an audience, we could buy that there, there is a, a rope bridge and there is a swing and, and there is an elevator and, and that type of thing. What's really fun about the Thunder Sisters and a lot of the stories we tell in the, in the movies, we push the females as far as we push the males. Sometimes there's a convention that the guys can be, you know, they're the silly ones and the female ones are the more sensible. There's no one as crazy as Gran in this movie. And I love her story of, you know, she's in some ways, she's the one that has the, the most insight in how to solve this. In her own way, she is trying to pull this team together. She does it in the most absurd, crazy way. And you don't know if she's talking the truth when she's talking about her past. And suddenly for these women to embrace Gran and embrace this more tribal side of them was a whole lot of fun. And the music, I mean, we, we kind of approached it as... Um, yeah, they're, they're kick-ass. But like the, the visual inspiration was like Iron Maiden covers and, and, and really pushing how far we could go uh, and make it like, you know, 1970s, 1980s heavy metal, even the music choices that we made. So I think that was a huge amount of fun for us at the end.